Right.
nature calls, nature calls. Final thoughts on the seaweedy? Yellowstone Trail. How about her, honey? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> it's so cute. And go. <laughs> and Art's over there putting oil in his 725. We're sitting there letting the engine cool off. Carl's over here 
getting a good parking spot in the shade. He's the only guy in the shade here. And uh, we're just taking a fiber, and then we're gonna continue on where, how far are we from the border? Not very far, are we? 30 miles away from Big Sky Country. So we're just gonna keep on, keep on trucking. How did it come out? Um, not what I like. Well, let's see. Why? Come on. What's wrong with that? Out. Grasshopper legs all over the fender. All over the tranny cooler. Ah, that one's still alive there. Poor things. And splattered all over the bumper. Uh oh, up about that far. Oh. He stuck in there. Wow. But they were they were straw. Yeah. That's right. Hey again, convoy crazy. They're coming at you from Plevna, Montana. Population friggin' twelve. <laughs> we had to stop here because, well, because we had to grab a little shade there for a minute. Let Art's uh, ambulance cool down a little. And uh, he's going to try some non ethanol fuel. And uh, we seem to think that's going to straighten that problem right out. 
having a little bit of vapor lock trouble. It is hot today, it's up near 90. So, we're mounting back up. We got about 70 miles to go. It started, <laughs> that means we can go. Here we go. City Montana, a big sky country they say, although to be honest the sky looks bigger in South Dakota. But we made her, huh? About time. About time. Art's been nursing a sick uh, ambulance up the road the whole way. 
some of those hills we are going up 25 mile an hour. So we're going to discuss the plans from here. The KOA is 0.9 miles away and we're ready to shut her down for the day. It's going to take us an hour to get there. <laughs> yeah. Popcorn. This is like movie theater style popcorn. But how much did it cost? Three ninety nine. <laughs> That's <laughs> the best price. She, I said, just a bag of popcorn, and she goes, "Have a good day." <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Side note: We have grasshoppers all over the friggin' rig. <laughs> they're they're flying out. They're in here. She said they were flying out. They're all in the grill, and they're everywhere. That's enough adventure for one day, I'd have to say. It's time to sit down and relax. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, there's the office there. Can we stop here? Oh, we could have. My socket. You make it sound like I'm gonna do all the work. No, no, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind helping Art. Nope, nope, you only live once. Yeah, and it was over, it was overlapped whenever I tried to fix it. So I'm going to cut a little bit off so at least the cap will go all the way on. Mm. See? It's in, I'm not. It's in. It's overlapped. Uh. I'll get some more in Helena. Hey guys, so. That's going to be about it for today. Just spent a little while trying to figure out what's going on with Arch 725. And it's looking more and more like the coil finally pooped the bed. She's done. <laughs> Friggin' 2,000 miles from home. I feel horrible for Art. It had the original coil in it. Still had like the friggin' military sticker on the side of it. And you Kaiser experts out there, you can't get these, apparently from what I heard, you can't get those coils anymore. They're unobtainium. So you have to retrofit. And uh, it's not something we can do at the Miles City KOA with what tools we have on board. So onto the trailer it goes. And I made a joke with Art a little earlier. I said, hell, you're probably going to get the cameo before we do. <laughs> Sitting in the AC, you lucky devil. It's supposed to be 95 tomorrow. So that's going to be a hot day. It's just going to be Carl and me and Renee makes three. And we're going to haul the mail down to Helena, Montana. We're coming at you. See you tomorrow. Have a blessed day. And... Drive them jeeps. <laughs> See you guys.